hello hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to stream a video over the internet it's going to be a very quick video it's very simple and i will explain you step by step how you can achieve this so let's get straight into it so what we're going to do in this particular app is as you can see on the emulator we have a grid view which is showing a couple of images basically these images are the thumbnails of a video if you can consider it so and if you click on a certain image it will open up a video player it will load it buffer it and it will start playing the video as you can see it's buffering as it is get going getting loaded from over the internet and it will play similarly you can pause it like move it five seconds back again play it it's totally up to you you can close the uh, the player open up a different video again close it uh, let's open up a different video and you can see it's buffering and it's streaming over the internet so let's see how we can achieve this so for doing this we need uh, like a couple of things very small things we need something called exo player which is the media player the video media player you saw which was playing the video and so we need to uh, add it to the dependency for doing that we will open the build gradle file we will add the exo player we will also add coil since i'm using coil to display the images which is basically the thumbnail or the poster image for that particular video in the manifest file we will give the internet permissions because we are going to use the internet to stream the data over to stream the data to fetch the data and stream the data so i think that's pretty much it basically so we need like two three things we need two dependencies one for the player one for displaying the image and we need to give the internet permission then what we need is that we will create a data class called video item which will have a poster which is basically this thumbnail or the poster image and the source so source is basically the uh, i would say the path or the url where you are going to save your videos so in my case what i have done is i have created a dummy sort of a database as you can see which is basically a list of video item where there are multiple video item objects and it takes like it has poster and source poster is basically the thumbnail and source is the actual video so there are as you can see there are nine of those and then i'm repeating it again and again to create a very small basic a uh, list of uh, videos now going to the or moving to the ui part it's very straightforward so there are a couple of things as you can already figure out that we are using something called grid layout over here so that is basically a lazy vertical grid in compose so what i have done is i have created a composable called video playlist which is displaying the list of videos and this is the composable it has like two different uh, mutable state values one is for checking if the video is still playing the second is to update the current video source as you can see the first one is basically a boolean uh, mutable state the second one is the uh, video source then i'm using the lazy vertical grid i'm making it as adaptive where basically as you can see it says that defines a grid which has many rows or columns as possible under condition that every cell has at least minimum size space and all extra space is distributed evenly for so basically we will provide a given uh, dimension to it a given db to it and it will adapt its uh, size accordingly so uh, after we have done that what i have done is i have created another compose which is basically the single items as you can see now it has like it takes two properties the first one is the item itself which we are getting from the video list which is basically the database the dummy database that i created the second is basically a callback function so uh, and on clicking the image what we are doing is we are uh, updating the value of this is video playing videoable state to true and updating the current video source okay so let's first of all see what is this video list item as you can see it's very simple it's basically simply a coil a uh, composable uh, over with where we are providing the item poster the description and we have added a modifier which will call the callback function that is on click so once that is clicked as i said it will update these two values and as soon as this value is updated it will open the video player and we will pass the current video source also it has a compose uh, it has a callback function that is on close 
which will again update the value of is video playing to false so basically once we click on this particular image it will uh, update it will call this it will update the value of is video playing to true it will update the current video source since we have updated this it will call this particular compose which where we will pass the current video source and we also have a callback function which will wait for uh, the closing of the media player to again update the is video playing mutable state state to back to false such that we will close the media media player now inside the video player composable is where we are going to actually create the exo player that is basically the video player that we are going to use that is what we added the dependency for so over here as you can see it takes the video url string the on close as i said the uh, callback function the first thing that is needed is the context the second one is basically we need to create the exo player uh, i would say like an object so we are using the builder and we are setting the video player by passing the uri by passing the video url we are calling the prepare function the play function as which is a part of the exo player api itself which will prepare it and which will play it as soon as we want it to play it so uh, basically this will as you can see if you can uh, see that this prepares the video this method must be uh, called if common paper is available this will move the player out of the idle state and the player will start loading the media and acquire resources needed for playback so basically it will prepare the uh, the video player with with all the resources to play the video the second function is called play which is basically uh, is basically the method which will actually play the video so after we we have configured the exo player over here what i have done is uh, i have added a box to give a like, like a very small uh, black a background with an alpha value as with an opacity as you can see uh, when we open it as you can see there is a, like a small opacity at the background so for doing that i have added this box which takes in the maximum size in the background as black with an alpha value of 0.8f next we what we are going to do here is we are going to use something called android view which is basically used uh, or which is basically useful when we want to integrate a view that is not yet available in compose for example let's say web view where we know that that this particular view will show something at the point when we want to show it but it is not yet available to that particular screen right so similarly we, we know that we want to play the video we have the we will have the resource we have the video player but it is not going to uh, like show up or like it is not available at the very beginning itself right so in those cases we use something called android view which takes in the factory method over where we are going to pass the actual uh, view it might be uh, let's say a web view it might be something a map view but in our case we are going to call something called a uh, style player view which is basically the uh the player or the video player provided by exo player which takes in the context and which takes in the exo player configured object that we created over here and then we have passed a modifier that is fill max size after that i have added icon button for this cross icon as you can see which has a on click function and we are calling the callback function of on close once we click on the cross button and we have aligned it to the top uh, end and have added some padding to it and for the icon i have uh, provided the close icon and have added the tint as white and once uh, we are not uh, once we are not no more there in that particular composable we want to get rid of all this, this all these resources of all the of this particular exo player for in that for that reason we are using disposable effect which will uh, get rid of all the resources that is being used uh, and that is where we are going to call dot release function as you can see it says that this is the player this method must be called when the player is no longer required that the player must not be used after calling this method basically which means that once we have closed the player or once this particular composable is no longer available on the screen we want to get rid of all the resources that was being used by exo player so in that case uh, we need to call this and how we will get to know that that this when should this be called is when will this particular side effect that is disposable effect is triggered okay so that is all that is needed for for playing the video url in the same way you can have a local video and instead of parsing or instead of uh, 
passing it over the internet you can provide the path to it and it will automatically uh, set the media item accordingly and it will prepare the video player and and play the uh, the video but in our case since we are using a video url that that is why we need to pass it and pass it to this head media item so yep, that's pretty much it for this particular video if you like this if you like this video if you got to learn something new to subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment if you have any doubts any questions and if you have any topic in your mind that you want me to cover also if you made it to the end do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends that's it from my side i will see you in the next one thank you